I was walking to my car right now and this black woman was like, hey you, hey you Negro, hey you Negro with the green and blue checkered shirt. And I was like, I don't know why I turned around. I mean, I'm like, the other shit. And there was actually a black guy, true story, a black guy with the same colored weird design shirt as me. And I was like, well, that makes sense because there's nobody that would be calling me the N word. <laughs> so silly. Anyways, I was walking into uh, Walmart before that happened uh, where I thought I was being uh, verbally assaulted and calling the N word. And there was this well-breasted woman, right? She had very, very big breasts. And I looked at them and there was something like written on the part where her breasts were, right? And I'm like, is this a is this some kind of a joke? Because she's walking with her boyfriend and yeah, she has big hooters, but I'm curious as to see what it says and the words weren't that big. So you would have to like really look. And I said, okay, this is a, a, this is a tricky situation because if I look at her breast and her boyfriend catches me looking at her and you know, he might be able to actually fight and I can't fight, uh, whatever. Uh, he might want to say something mean to me or challenge me to a duel. And I'm not trying to do that. So don't ask me what the shirt said. Cause I have no idea. I really, really don't know. Another thing I observed in my favorite store of all time, a black woman, uh, this, uh, this black woman, she was like, whatever looking, you know, I give her like a five or a six. She was very tall, very tall. She was one of those Amazonian weirdos. She was about six foot 14, a massive giant woman. She looked like that one chick from the black deuce Bigelow. Uh, like there's a big bitch. Uh, one of those huge, like, you know, she looked like devastator from transformer. She's probably bigger than that motherfucker. So anyways, um, I was looking at her, right? And I, you know, was waiting for her to like walk and I was checking out the backside. It's like, it wasn't, she didn't have a, like a good, you know, age or whatever. Uh, but I was like thinking, I was like, you know, she's so tall. I would actually, if we were to like, you know, have sex and you know, she would want to like stand up and just bend over and I'm standing, I would have to stand on like at least uh, two phone books just to be able to reach the promised land. I just thought that was a funny observation. Anyways, listen, let's talk about the uh, story at hand. Let's get to the uh, topic of the video. Man, uh, gas is expensive as hell. I'm in Illinois right now, and at uh, Murphy, USA, it's 478. But basically, everywhere around since I've been in Illinois, it's either uh, 499 or 509. I just, the last time I filled up my tank, I paid 509. So it's 478. That is the cheapest I've seen in Illinois since I've been here. So I leave East Peoria, right? And I'm on my way to a location unknown. I'm about 45 miles away and I finally realized, yeah, I definitely lost my Beats by Dre. You know those earphones? Remember the ones that I found at that same uh, Walmart where the baby killed that kid, Jalen Craig? That's where I found the Beats by Dre. So. You know, and I like the headphones. They're pretty good. They're not like awesome and great or incredible. And I think at uh, Walmart, I think they retail for like 70 bucks, whatever. So I've had these little damn things where you drape over around your neck or whatever. And I, by dumb luck, I go to the app and I'm like, I wonder if it has something stupid like find my beats, right? Or find my earphones. And it does. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's in my van. So I turn on the the map and it shows that I left my earphones at the Fond du Lac Cemetery in East Peoria, Illinois. So if anybody happens to go to that cemetery, um, once you're on that one street, when you pull in, the earphones are going to be like on your left. So looking at like, look in the front part of the cemetery, uh, there's like two ways to get in. There's like a side street and a front and a, like a main street. When you go into the main street, when you pull in, stop about 30 feet and then they'll be on your left. I have a sick, weird obsession. When I lose things, I get really, really pissed off. Uh, whether when people give me things or whatever, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a hoarder, but uh, you know, kind of in the back over here, I keep things what people give, you know what I mean? L-O-L, I am a keeper. So I, you know, I'm like, okay, let me just turn around and go and get them. I have no 
problem turning around. Man, I could go turn around and just go grab them really quick and then hit. And then I, I go on my GPS and it's 45 miles. I'm 45 miles away from the cemetery where I left my Beats by Dre. So my first intuition is to just turn around and go get them, right? Because those are my earphones and they kind of have some sentimental value, right? But I realize, I said, wait a minute, gas is $5 a gallon. If I, and this van gets about 14 miles to the gallon, maybe 15 at best. So if I were to have turned around, went back to the cemetery, got my Beats by Dre, and guys, it's getting a little bit hot. I know I'm starting to, I'm starting to smelt. And turn around and go at 90 miles. So basically, it would have cost me $30 in gas just to stop, go back 45 miles to the cemetery, get my earphones, go back to where I was. So $30. I said, hell no. I'm not going to spend $30 to go back over there to go get my Beats by Dre. So I guess I lost them. Now, Walmart has similar types of headphones. They're Sony. There's two pairs. One is uh, $29.99. The other one is $39.99. Uh, I've been using... Oh, by the way, I bought this fanny pack off of, uh, off of Amazon. Uh, I have yet to use it, but I am going to use it. It's 15 bucks. Um, where the hell are those? Ear, the, the, I use, uh, you know how you see the truckers with the, with the, with the, I use that and it, the range on it sucks. Like I can barely go 10 feet away from the phone and it starts crackling, but I like those earphones. Cause man, I could, I could straight start walking like 40 feet away from my van. And I'm talking to somebody, probably Scarlett. I'm talking to somebody and I'm like, and then it starts fading away as I'm going closer to the Walmart. I'm like, Oh crap. My phone is in my, that's how good they are. Right. So I missed the range. So right now I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to go buy uh, a, a decent pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I'll look for whatever. Uh, anyways, check this out. So Amazon uh, Prime Day is July 12th or 13th, or is it the 13th or the 14th? I don't freaking know, whatever. So I'm looking on Amazon and before I even get to the products that are, you know, on sale, Prime Day, I see that Max Pro. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what that Max Pro thing is. Like you'll see Shaq, uh, he's a, dude, Shaq sponsors anything. Dude, dude, Shaq would, uh, he sponsors anything. Dude, he, he would, man, anyways, uh, he, he, there, is there, he's like Scorby and Grubs. He's like Scorby, is there, let me, I gotta wipe my freaking face, I'm getting, ugh. Is there anything that he is approached with to for a product to endorse that he will say no to? Okay, this guy will probably, he would endorse freaking knives that Al-Qaeda uses to cut off people's heads if they're sharp enough. Yeah, this guy will put his name on anything. Uh, I think I used that joke in the previous video. I should have probably came up one quicker off the top of my head, but uh, in old age, I'm getting, I'm getting slow in old age. Anyways. So this damn thing looks like it weighs a couple pounds. You can like pick it up, put it in your bag. It has like little dials. You can select the, the weight, you know, 10 pound, 50. This thing, man, I looked it up on Amazon like a week ago. It was a thousand dollars, over a thousand dollars. It's like a thousand twenty-four dollars. I'm like, damn, that's a stupid price, right? A thousand twenty-four. So I said, I'm not gonna pay a thousand, you know, and plus with tax eleven hundred. Now the thing looks cool, don't get me wrong. And I wouldn't, you know, actually, I would have a problem spending that kind of money on something stupid like that. So I'm looking on the Amazon Prime thing, and I notice that it's there's like a lightning deal on it. A lightning deal. So right now, as I'm recording this video, it is on sale for $679. So probably with tax, it would be coming out to about $740. Am I going to spend $740 for this thing that I'm never going to use? I'm just never going to use. And the answer is maybe. I don't know what to do. I think it goes off of lightning sale. Like, you know, that Amazon has these things where it's like for 10 hours, it's on. So, I better hurry up. You better hurry up. So, I don't know if I'm going to buy that thing. That's, uh, that's a little ridiculous. But, you know, it's not every day that when I go to the gym, I exercise. And 
Uh, you know, and, that, and that's only $679 for the thing. You still got to buy the bench. You got to buy the wall uh, fitting things and, and whatever. I don't know, man. Uh, I've really, really got to think about it. I also want to buy this. Uh, you remember you remember when I made that video shitting on the Jackery? Well, there's this other thing and I bought it. It's actually okay, but I, you know, it's too little. It's not practical. I can see it being practical for some nerd who wants to go to the park and, you know, he has to have his laptop so he brings a little bit of thing for a power or whatever. So there's other thing, the Slacker Jackery, it cost. Is it, by the way, is there anybody that's still listening to me ramble? <sighs> whatever. Anyways, it's, uh, it's the equivalent of, a th I think it's a thousand watt hours. So it's 600 bucks. And then you could buy like a little solar panel with it for another like 120. So if I get somebody, cause I'm too lazy to do it, to put that panel on the top of my roof and then plug that thing in, I mean, basically I could have like free power and I probably would never have to really use my generator. Cause I would only really need to use it to power my fan. I don't know, I'm thinking about buying it. It's only 600 bucks. But if I buy that max, Pro thing for seven hundred and fifty, and that thing for six hundred and fifty. So I'm gonna spend fifteen hundred bucks. I mean, it's not like I have kids or a job or you know I have worries or a life or sex or a woman or somebody that loves me or anything like that. So uh, I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, I just want to get that stuff off my chest as the sun is going down in a location unknown somewhere in the great state of Illinois. Don't pronounce the S. Anyways, guys, I will catch up with you later. More videos to come. More videos to come. This channel. You know, I'm gonna stick with it, even though it makes my other channel suffer because when people discover this channel, they oh my god, it does you so nice in the other channel, and in this one, you're a racist sack of shit. So what?